action keywords. There are three types of keywords which allow particular types of actions to take place. The first is the opportunity keyword. This allows a character to act outside of what their normal initiative turn. However, they can only perform a particular type of action and in response to a particular circumstance. In the case of this card, the reflex attack, uh, it allows them to make a melee attack against a target whose move action ends in the square adjacent to the character. So when an enemy moves during their turn and ends up next to the character, this character can make an attack. The opportunity actions um, slot in between the actions of the other characters. So in the case of the enemy is moving up, the enemy will presumably make a move action to be there. That will trigger the opportunity action, and once the opportunity action is resolved, then the enemy can make any remaining actions they want, presumably carry on with their attack. It is up to the character with the opportunity card to declare they wish to make an opportunity action at the appropriate point. So the player needs to pay attention and spot when that opportunity arises. Opportunity actions cannot be triggered by other, op other people's opportunity actions. So this reflex attack cannot trigger somebody else's opportunity um, actions. That's known as a cascade and that's not allowed. So they can own, opportunity actions can only be triggered by somebody else's initiative action. Another type of um, action um, is the resistance action. The resistance action, uh, unlike the opportunity action, is in some ways more limited. A resistance action is triggered when somebody else has to make a resistance action. So in this case, help an ally defend against an attack as long as the attacker is within range. So when an ally has to make a resistance action, this triggers the characters the opportunity to help them in the resistance action. And so in their case, if they want to do resistance action and you wish to help them, you'd play that card, maybe the speed card together. And so this character would take a 2d6 action and that will be added on to the resistance of the character who is being attacked. Opportunity and resistance actions both allow you to, in effect, take actions at different times other than your initiative actions. Opportunities are particular triggers and they give you a particular type of action you can take. Resistance actions are always tied to somebody else, someone else needing to make a resistance action and you being able to help them. The third type of action uh, to be mentioned is a movement action. Normally movement is done using flow but there are circumstances when you need a car which allows uh, a card which allows the character to make a movement action without flow. In this instance it's a follow-up card which allows you to chase after the, your enemy when they run away so it's an opportunity card so when an opportunity arises, you can play this card and that allows you to make a movement action. So that would be played and the character would move as a normal movement action. Most movement um, keywords appear on opportunity or resistance cards because they're using the movement at a time when they don't have flow available. But there are a few which you may find in um, which are dynamic cards as well. All these cards, resistance, opportunity, movement, when they are used, they are normal actions in so much that you can mix them with other cards. So the follow-up I could mix with speed for a, um, a more, um, for a quicker movement. Um, reflex attack I could combine with well, speed again or with one of the weapons. Protect again, speed or one of the weapons. Um, you can combine them as per a normal action. All the keyword is saying with the opportunity and resistance is that you allow to take the action at a different time. 
with the move movement keyword is just saying that you can move without spending any flow.